Hi, kids. Today we will learn about the usage of the following punctuation marks: the comma, the inverted comma, and the apostrophe. Let us start with the comma. The comma represents a short pause or a break in the sentence. For example, I have packed cakes, cookies, bananas, and apples for my school trip. This is a sentence with breaks in it, like cakes, cookies, bananas. There are breaks between the naming words. These breaks or pauses are represented in writing with the help of commas. We give a pause when we represent a list of things, and that pause is represented by a comma. A comma is used for many more purposes. Like it is used to separate words in a series. We can use a comma to separate a city and a state. Use a comma to separate a date and a year, or a month and a year. We use a comma after the greeting or closing in a friendly letter. We use a comma to separate pairs of words with the same class of things. First of all, we will learn about the usage of comma to separate a series of words in a sentence. I like to eat apples, bananas, cookies, and cakes. Here we have four naming words or four nouns in a series: apples, bananas, cookies, and cakes. Cookies and cakes are separated by means of the conjunction and, but the nouns apples, bananas, cookies will be separated by commas. Yes, this is the right way of putting commas between a list of nouns. I have pen, pencils, erasers, books in my bag, so we need to give pauses between all naming words in the sentence. And we give pause with the help of commas. When we have a series of naming words in a sentence, the initial naming words are separated with commas, and the last one is separated with the conjunction and. Commas are used to separate a series of words in a sentence. Comma is also used to separate each pair of words of the same class or kind. Like rich and poor, comma high and low, comma young and old. Let's learn this with the help of an example: the rich and the poor, the young and the old, the men and the women. All must do exercise. Here we have separated each pair of words of the same class with commas. A comma is used to separate the name of the person we are speaking from what we are saying. Tina, can you give me a pen? So we give a pause after the noun Tina. Friends, let us start our work. Here also we give a pause between friends and the rest of the statement. A comma is also used to separate expression like. Yes, no. However, in fact, of course, etc. Let's have a look at some examples. In fact, I am very happy with my result. Of course, you can borrow my books. Well, I will see if I can do it. Oh, I didn't know that. After all, you have succeeded in winning the race. However, you can't miss the party. Here is another usage of comma. A comma is also used to separate the date and the year, like April fifteenth, two thousand sixteen, November first, two thousand sixteen. So we use a comma to separate the date and the year. We can also write June two thousand sixteen, May two thousand fifteen, 
Here also, the month and the year are separated by a comma. So kids, we have learned a few uses of using a comma. We will learn about more rules in our later sections. Now we are going to learn about the usage of another punctuation mark, that is, an inverted comma. Inverted commas are used to mark the exact words of a speaker. Let's see a picture. We see a boy and a girl in a garden. The boy is carrying an umbrella. So the girl says, Why are you carrying an umbrella? Since it's cloudy today. What did the girl ask the boy? The girl asked the boy, Why are you carrying an umbrella? These are the exact words spoken by the girl. So we have put these words in inverted commas. What did the boy reply? The boy said, since it is cloudy today. Again, the words written in red are the exact words of the boy, so we have written them in inverted commas. So kids, we use inverted commas whenever we have to write the exact words of the speaker. Single inverted commas are also used to indicate the titles of books, films, plays, songs, stories, etc. For example, Titanic is an award-winning movie. Here, the title of the movie, that is, Titanic, is given in single inverted commas. Alice in Wonderland is my favorite storybook. Here again, the title Alice in Wonderland is being mentioned in inverted commas. So kids, we have learned the use of commas and inverted commas. Now it's time to learn the use of apostrophe. Apostrophe is used to indicate the omission of a letter or more than one letters. For example, do not make a noise. Here can make a short form of do not, and for that, we can omit the O of not and use an apostrophe in its place. So the sentence will become, don't make a noise. Here are some more examples. Cannot will become can't. Have not will become haven't. Was not can be written as wasn't. In all these words, we have omitted the O and put apostrophes in its place. Here is another example. We can make a short form of it is by omitting the I of is. Who is can be written as whose. Apostrophe is also used to show the possessive case, like if we want to say that the books belong to Sam, we can say Sam's books. The dress belonging to Sherry can be written as Sherry's dress. The room of my sister can be written as my sister's room. The life of a woman can be written as a woman's life. The painting of Maria can be written as Maria's painting. The school where girls study can be written as girls school. Kids, can you see the difference here? Here we have put an apostrophe after the word girls as it is plural noun. In plurals we put the apostrophe after the letter S of the plural word. The bags of the boys can be written as the boys bags. The classes of girls, the girls' classes. So kids, today we have learned a few basic rules of using commas, inverted commas, and apostrophe. There are many more. Okay kids, now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!